Ukraine slams Israel for pro-Russian position, blatant disregard for moral boundaries. Here's a summary of the article. We process your data to deliver content or advertisements and measure the delivery of such content or advertisements to extract insights about our website. Personalized ads and content, ad and content measurement, audience insights and product development. Ads can be shown to you based on the content you're viewing, the app you're using, your approximate location, or your device type. A profile can be built about you and your interests to show you personalized ads that are relevant to you. Personalized ads can be shown to you based on a profile about you. A profile can be built about you and your interests to show you personalized content that is relevant to you. Personalized content can be shown to you based on a profile about you. This post received a score of 4,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. How can Israel be pro-Russian when the Russians have continually backed Iran, which is definitely anti-Israel? They aren't actually pro-Russia. But the Ukrainian ambassador who made this statement wants them to be more anti-Russia. Israel has been providing defensive aid and medical aid to Ukraine, but isn't providing weapons and isn't sanctioning Russia. That's what the Ukrainian ambassador is taking issue with. They've also been providing intel, especially for dealing with Iranian drones. Plus they did condemn Russia. People who claim Israel is taking no side or siding with Russia are either lying or have been lied to. Year of the Slam I'm getting a 403 error when I try to follow the link. But here's what Google has to say when I search for the headline. I'm not about to go to bat for anti-Semitism or supporting Russia. But, I mean, here in the United States we've got assholes like Marjorie Taylor Greene parroting Kremlin talking points. What's going on in Israel that they get the shout out? Not trying to see lion, I'm sincerely out of the loop. Some embassy dinner at the Russian embassy that a lot of high-profile Israeli politicians attended three. He just spotted off a lot of Russian media taking points that have zero evidence behind them, just blatant lies. Edit. Also there is this claim that Israel is ignoring anti-Semitic comments made by Russian leadership. I don't really know about the validity to this point. We appreciate everything Israel has done for us, he said. Israel is supplying Ukraine with mission defense systems and is considering sending tanks. Israel also has to coordinate with Russia in Syria so it can't go full anti-Russia. ITT people just ignore how Israel condemned Russia and send aid to Ukraine in addition to taking in tens of thousands of refugees. People on Reddit demanding Israel fucking declare war on Russia like they don't share a border with its puppet and should just ignore the Jews in Russia who will be harmed in the process. Perhaps Israel would have been more supportive of Ukraine if it was not glorifying World War II-era Nazi collaborators and war criminals, and if Ukraine's track record of voting in the UN was slightly less biased against Israel. Coming down hard on Ukraine's side would mean losing Syria to Iran. I hope that's real politic. But I know there's money involved too. Does anyone else think that including slams in the headline instantly makes it look ridiculous? Unlike most countries who supply weapons to Ukraine, Israel is both not NATO and shares a border with Russian forces in Syria. Additionally Russia is associated with all of Israel's enemies, but this relationship between Israel and Russia is what allows to make moves against Iran without consequences from Russia. Supposedly Israel sends arms, Russia will probably start arming Iran and its proxies even more, or shoot down Israeli planes by itself. Are Zelensky and the US supposed to give some magical guarantees this won't happen? Or will they perhaps send forces to assist? Obviously not. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.